Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this golden beanie which you can see here in front of you. Now I've sized this beanie today to work or to fit an adult hat. Uh, later in the instruction I'll give you uh, a brief explanation of how to change the size of your beanie. Now, uh, the beanie also fits with a slight slouch in it. Features this beautiful, beautiful texture, and also here on my channel, you will find a matching cowl pattern. So this is the golden beanie. Today for this pattern, you're going to need approximately 250 yards. We're going to use almost the entire ball of uh, worsted weight or medium weight yarn. I'm using Heartland by Lion Your Brand which is a 100% acrylic yarn. So you're going to need almost the entire ball especially if you're including a pom-pom. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com I'll provide links for all of these items in the description of this video. As you're going to see here in a moment, this beanie is created in a fairly unique way, uh, worked up and down, and we're going to use a magic ring or a ring up at the top to close the top of our beanie. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Now just before we get started, I invite you to take a moment and feel free to subscribe to this channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. There's many, many other crochet beanies here on this channel also. So for our pattern today, as I mentioned, we're going to work it in a fairly unique way. And it's worked by using a magic ring or you can use just a chain ling, uh, ring uh, up at the top. So what we're going to do if you're using your magic ring you're going to want a fairly long tail and you're just going to however you work your magic ring create your magic ring up at the top. If you do not like working the magic ring, it's understandable. Instead, you can chain 10 and then join with a slip stitch into the top, uh, uh, into the first chain. Now we're going to start working in rows. So we're going to work a foundation chain. If you're using the magic ring or the other ring, I like to keep uh, my finger kind of through the ring just to hang on to it so it doesn't slip closed as we're working. You're going to work a foundation chain and for our beanie today uh, we're going to chain 40. If you would like to change the size of your beanie your foundation chain is going to create the height of your hat. So you'll want to have an even number of stitches and you'll simply work to the height plus a few chains uh, of your desired size. So today for the adult size, we're going to chain 40. and 40 and you can see I kept my ring looped on my finger here I just find it easier to manage as we're working. So now at the end of our foundation chain we're going to start row one by working the first stitches of the brim of our hat. So we're going to begin by working a slip stitch into the second chain from our hook and I'm working into the back bumps of my stitches so slip stitch into the second chain and then into each of the next 10 chains. So you'll have 11 slip stitches all together.
and 11. So this is going to be the brim of our hat down here at the bottom. We're now going to start working some of the texture in the body of our hat, which is the even moss stitch. Once you have worked your slip stitches, you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, followed by a slip stitch into the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way across to your magic ring. So half double crochet into the next stitch, followed by a slip stitch into the next. Repeat that all the way across. Now at the end of row one, you're going to come all the way up, slip stitch into your final stitch. You're then up here at your magic ring or your chain ring, and you're going to slip stitch into the center of that ring. Now your slip stitch into the center does not count as a stitch. Chain one, it does also not count as a stitch and turn your work. So you do not want to work into the slip stitch that goes into the ring or that chain stitch. So now for row two, into the last slip stitch that we worked in that row, we're going to half double crochet into the slip stitch and then slip stitch into the half double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way down to the final 11 stitches. Okay, so half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a slip stitch into the next. Repeat that all the way down until you have the 11 stitches of your brim remaining. So I'm coming down here to the end of row two. I slip stitch into the final stitch and then I have 11 stitches remaining. So these 11 stitches once again are the brim of my hat. So what I'm going to do now is working in the back loop only, which is this loop that's the furthest away from you when you're looking at the top of your stitch and you're going to slip stitch in each of the final 11 stitches. Now if it helps uh, to make it so that you don't have to count every time, you may wish to mark that first stitch of your brim. It may make it easier to see uh, just as you're working your hat because sometimes with the two slip stitches they do pull, pull fairly, fairly tight. At the end of your row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now beginning at the brim. You're going to, in the back loop only, slip stitch in each of these first 11 stitches. final one. Remove the stitch marker. Make sure that you continue to mark that first stitch if you are going that route. Once you come to the body of your hat, you're essentially going to repeat uh, the pattern that you worked there in your row two. So when you come to your first stitch, it's a slip stitch. So you want to half double crochet into the slip stitch and slip stitch into the half double crochet. Repeat that all the way up to the ring up at the top. At the end of your row three, 
your slipping slip stitch into that final half double crochet then into the center of your ring slip stitch into the center of your ring it does not count as a stitch chain one and turn your work we're now going to repeat rows two and three uh, for a total of 46 times. So this brings you up to row 95. So uh, begin again with the half double crochet in that first slip stitch, slip stitch in the next, repeat across to your brim where you will, working in the back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch of the brim, chain one, turn your work, work the brim and then the body of the hat just as we did in our last row. So you're going to do that until you've worked a total of 95 rounds. It's going to fit around an adult's head fairly comfortably and uh, have a little bit of slouch to it. If you would like it more snug or perhaps you've changed the size of your beanie then you're simply going to work to the desired circumference of your hat. So work it to the size that you want to fit. After that, you can meet me back here and I'll show you how to finish your golden beanie off. Once you've worked to row 95 of your beanie or its desired width, this is what you're going to have. So up here at the top, you'll have your ring and then it flares out down here at the bottom. So what we're going to do now is if you haven't already, you can pull your, gently pull your magic ring tight and secure the end of it. So you'll want your ring uh, as tight as you can get it. Uh, but you'll just want to make sure that it's secure so that it's not going to come undone. You're then going to crochet the two sides of your beanie together. So whether you're up at the top or up the bottom, if you've changed the size, it doesn't matter. It will be worked the same. You're going to chain one, then working through both thicknesses of your beanie. You're going to, for the brim, working in the back loops only of both thicknesses, you're going to slip stitch across. Okay, so th we are working through both pieces. Work your 11 slip stitches all the way up the side. This pattern I found there wasn't really a front or back, uh, so uh, you're okay to work whatever side you would like. Once we're finished here, you will have a seam, so we are going to be turning the beanie right side out once we are finished. So working in those back loop only, slip stitch up the brim. How many do I have here? Eleven. Once you come to the body of the hat, you're then going to work under both loops of the stitches and again you're going to continue slip stitching all the way up the side. When you come up to your ring, slip stitch into that ring and fasten off leaving a long tail. I'm just going to continue working up the side here and I'll show you what I mean when I get up there. Just continue working. Make sure you're not skipping any stitches or doubling up anywhere. You don't want to cause any bunching or any unnecessary gaps in your seam. But just slip stitch all the way up. I'm 
almost up at the top. About 10 more stitches to go. It does get a little bit trickier as you come up to the top as you get closer to your ring. Once you come up to that ring, slip stitch into the center of it and then again fasten off and leave a little bit of a long tail. We're now going to use that long tail. Keep your beanie inside out. Thread your long tail onto your yarn needle and we're simply going to sew the top or the opening closed. Again, you're going to want it fairly secure. You don't want it to open. All the way across. When you come to the opposite side of the top opening, again, you'll want to secure it. I usually work a little bit of a knot there before going ahead and weaving in the final end. Trim it off. Turn your beanie right side out because you have this seam facing you. There you are. If you would like, you can make or purchase or pom-pom. Add it to the top. I recommend adding your uh, ones made with, the, with yarn. Uh, by using a button or simply tying it in a bow. So if you need to wash the hat later, you can. But that's all there is to making your golden beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Have fun. Bye. Mm -hmm.